Hello. Mental health is how we feel and think. Things that can't really be seen, but that affect us every day. And talking about them can feel difficult. A charity called the Anna Freud National Centre for Children and Families have made this animation with children just like you. It helps us all talk about our mental health. What to say and who to talk to when we have feelings that are too big to manage on our own. And how to listen and help if one of our friends is finding things difficult. Sometimes it's just a simple conversation that can make things better. I do hope you like the film. This film is about mental health, talking about it and listening to others. Mental health is about our feelings, our thinking, our emotions and our moods. Everybody knows how to look after physical health, but looking after our mental health is just as important because you can't see it, you need to talk about it. Good morning, Afia. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Kai. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Sid. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Miss. This film is all about Jay and us. We're her friends. We're all 10 or 11 years old. All in the same school, live in the same area, but we're all very different to each other. We all have different feelings every day. They come and go. We can feel excited. Silly. Angry. Nervous. Grumpy, confused, lonely, happy, confident. These are small feelings that we all have every day. What can we do when small feelings are bothering us? I like KFC or I like going in the bath. <laughs> 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 I would probably write it down. You'll feel it's out of you and on the paper. I usually read a book so I can just escape into the book and then my worries are behind me. When I feel stressed, I usually just turn the shower and sing in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> just like sit down and play on my favourite video game, really. You could count until you don't feel stressed. Sometimes we can have big feelings and they don't go away. Big feelings can affect our mental health. Big feelings can stop us getting on with our lives. They can change how well we feel, how we behave, how we see the world, and how we get on with other people. Some of Jay's feelings stayed too long and they got too big for her to manage on her own. What's wrong with Jay? She's usually mature and good at getting her work done. How are big feelings affecting Jay? Am I in a jungle? Am I in the sea? My head is going crazy. Will you come and save me? My tummy hurts. I can't get to sleep at night. I can't concentrate at school. It feels like I have a volcano inside of me getting hotter and hotter. Sometimes it might help to talk to someone about our feelings, but it can be hard to find the right person. Do you think your mum might know something's wrong? My mum has her own problems. She's not very well. I've been looking after her. What about telling Miss Evelyn? She's always busy. What about your sister? I wanted to talk to her, but how could I say it? Sometimes it can be difficult to know what to say. Can I talk to you? I've been having a really hard time lately. Please help me, I'm really struggling. If someone wants to tell you something, how could you be a good listener? If you're listening to someone, you can lean forward or sit side by side. Make them feel comfortable. Always listen to them. Give them your time and attention. If you're a friend, you might not know what you could do, but you can help the person find an adult who can help. Let's see how Jay got on. Hi, I'm Jack. I don't go to school with Jay, but I go to swimming with Jay. It was me she decided to talk to and I was worried about her. I told our coach her because I, I thought she knew the best thing to do. I can see now that my problems are too big for me to deal with on my own. 
other people have ideas and experience. There are lots of choices. I just had to think it through. Talking to someone didn't magic all the bad things away, but it did start to help me to change things, and it was good not to feel I was on my own. I'm 11 years old, and I realised if I wanted things to get better, I just needed a bit of help. If your feelings are getting too big to cope with on your own, talking to someone you trust might really help.